In 1958, Charles Keeling began measuring atmospheric carbon dioxide, or CO2. He observed that CO2 was rising and falling from year to year. This annual cycle is due to factors like CO2 moving between the atmosphere and vegetation. In spring, plants absorb CO2 out of the air and convert it into foliage. In autumn, the leaves fall and rot, emitting CO2 back into the atmosphere. Keeling also found that over time, the amount of CO2 in the air was increasing. This graph became known as the Keeling Curve. It told us that big changes were happening to our atmosphere. For thousands of years, atmospheric CO2 levels remained relatively steady. Nature was in balance, with natural emissions matching natural absorptions. Humans upset the balance during the Industrial Revolution, when we began burning fossil fuels. We took carbon that was trapped underground as coal, oil or gas and burnt it, sending large amounts of CO2 into the air. Now, atmospheric CO2 has increased to levels not seen in millions of years. Cranky uncles try to minimise our role in disrupting the climate system through a crafty piece of cherry picking. They argue that human emissions are small compared to natural emissions. Humans are emitting around 33 billion tonnes of carbon into the air every year while nature is emitting around 730 billion tonnes of carbon. However, nature also absorbs around 740 billion tonnes of carbon each year. By failing to consider the full picture, this cherry pick ignores that nature was in balance and we upset the natural balance. To summarise, the climate fact is that nature was in balance, with natural CO2 emissions matched by natural absorptions. We upset that balance. The myth is that human CO2 emissions are tiny compared to natural CO2 emissions, so we don't matter. This commits the fallacy of cherry-picking, ignoring how natural absorptions match natural emissions.